What if Sarodnik actually did read his letter and simply changed the future so that it never happened? Let's talk about it. All right, so just a reminder, these letters were the ones written by Ninbis Kacho and hand-delivered by Prince Fugetsu to all of her siblings in order to stir the pot of the succession war, because each letter was different and contained information provided by the Justice Bureau. They're basically trying to cause some havoc and sow some discord, right? Well, we know that three of these letters weren't actually delivered, and those were the ones intended for Sarajnik, Hulkenberg, and Mariam. All right, first up, Hulkenberg has not read his letter because he is currently in a comatose state because he used his possession arrow and is actually in the body of Balsam Milko right now. And I actually put out a whole yap fest of a video talking all about that situation, so check it out if you haven't. But that is why he has not gotten his letter. And Prince Mariam didn't receive his letter because he is currently hidden away in a pocket dimension, most likely due to the effect of his guardian Nin Beast. So if they tried to walk into his room, they wouldn't have actually walked into his room. They would have walked into a duplicate of his room. So I think that this most likely was just a case of them not being able to actually find him to give him the letter and not that he rejected it. And this brings us back to Sarajnik, making him literally the only prince to have just straight up rejected this letter. We're told that he immediately says, just toss it out, I'm not interested. And I do think this makes sense for his character, because we've seen that he is of a singular mind right now, right? He is just obsessed with learning about Nin and developing his own ability, to the extent where he has just brushed aside the fact that he was almost assassinated by one of his guards. He didn't even take the time to question that, to explore that further. No, he was just more so focused on continuing to further his understanding of Nin. So it might make sense that he's not interested in this distraction of a letter, right? We also know that he didn't even go to the most recent banquet because he was so focused on his training. So again, I think this is plausible. Maybe he just thought, you know, I have more important things to do than read a, a letter from my sister right now. However, another interesting possibility is that Sarajnik actually did read the letter thanks to his ability Parallel Future. And I'm not going to get into the weeds on explaining that ability because it is incredibly complex. But essentially, he is able to peer 10 seconds into the future and see the course of events that will take place, a timeline of events, if you will. But then he is able to change that course of events and have the actual future proceed a different way. But he is a privy to the entire scope of information. So both or multiple timelines, if you will. So it's possible that Sarajnik saw the contents of the letter in parallel future, so got the benefit of having the information, but then chose to actually not receive the letter. So no one else thinks that that actually happened. Now, why would Sarajnik do this? I simply think he'd do it just to test himself and amuse himself and see how good he's gotten with an actual application of using Parallel Future. So presented with this letter, maybe he was like, hey, let me actually read it and then I'll just change things so nobody thinks I did. And that's just a nice ace to have up your sleeve in something like the Succession War where everyone's trying to trick and assassinate each other, right? So I think it's possible. I also think the fact that they said he immediately said just toss it is interesting because if he was just focused on his training and didn't even want to deal with it, then I would have imagined he wouldn't even meet with Fugetsu. But the line that he said, ah, just toss it out, makes me think that he actually did come face to face with her and then said, I'm not interested, which would have given him that window of opportunity to use Parallel Future. Now, at least at this point, I don't think this is the biggest deal either way, because we know the information in that letter was essentially there to stir the pot. It might have been true information, but at least in Sarajnik's case, we know that they're probably trying to steer him wrong. But regardless of that, it's still info he has that no one thinks he has. So he might be able to catch people in lies because of that, especially given the ability of his guardian Nin Beast, which specifically needs people to lie to it in order to activate, right? So I think it's just some compelling potential that Tagashi could have set up here. Anyways, y'all, that's going to do it for this one. Let me know down below whether or not you think he actually read the letter. And then I still have more stuff I want to talk about in chapter 403 and specifically what Zhongle's ability might be. So let me know your thoughts on that and on anything else from this chapter that you'd like to see discussed. And finally, thank you so much for watching.